landing page that will collect an email and have your PDF, pricing guide, whatever, go straight to your customer. All you got to do is go straight to MailChimp.com and click on your audience. You'll want to go and create a new audience. So from there, you can click on this button and you'll see like my general audience. You can click on the view audiences or you can go to manage audience to view your audience as well. It's a couple different ways. Once you're there, you're going to create a new audience. You're going to name your audience. Live events, mini portraits, um, wedding painting, whatever. Complete this form and then you'll be ready to build your landing page. I would implore you to click the one by one notifications. That way you are immediately notified as soon as someone signs up. And it also will help give you that motivation to get out of your rut. There are many times when I feel like throwing away my paints and brushes and I get that notification that somebody cares and that's the push that I need. Your campaigns and create a new campaign. From there, select landing page. Landing page should be named after whatever your event was. So maybe it's live baby shower paintings. I don't know, whatever. But make sure you choose the corresponding audience and then hit begin. Once you do that, I would recommend selecting one of the lead generation templates. Work smarter, not harder. You can always tweak it and add things later. The most important thing is having something that people can give you information so you can generate leads and start to make money. I recommend deleting what you don't need. Don't worry about filling something in for every little block. The most important thing is to have something that shows your work and something to capture the emails. So to connect your PDF with the client, what you'll do after you customize these things is you'll click wherever it already has the uh, sign up form. You want to go ahead and click first name and at least tell me about your event and make those required. Those are extremely important. Once you do that, you'll change the button text. It can say subscribe. It can say get your download now. It can say get the pricing guide. It, it's something to customize it a little bit more. And you'll also want to make sure that this has confirmation message. This is what will pop up so that the person will be able to click the PDF. You also have the option to send them to another landing page or another website, but when people are looking for quotes, especially for weddings, they're bombarded with dozens and dozens of vendors and they want the easiest solution. Now, this is the message that'll pop up once they submit this form and this is where you'll add your PDF. So it says success, you've been added to the audience. I would probably put something, thanks for your inquiry. I'll be in touch with the date availability. In the meantime, click here to access the pricing guide. And you can add more if you want to. So the section where it says click here, I'm going to highlight it. You can either click this um, chain link button or hold down command K to get the link attachment to work. From there, I'm not linking to a web address, I'm linking directly to a file. When you click linking to a file, it's gonna take you into your MailChimp gallery. So it has to be something that you've already uploaded. When you upload to MailChimp, I will let you know that sometimes the previews don't show up. So typically the files look like this. They'll be like the green little paper. You can filter if you want to be documents and that can help you sort through if you have a ton of stuff, but as you can see, you know, maybe it's my computer, maybe it's MailChimp, I don't know, but this isn't much to work off of. Either way, I feel confident. I don't upload many documents. I'm pretty certain it's this one. Hit insert and insert again. Now, click this blue button to preview the confirmation message. This shows me what it looks like. Thanks for your inquiry. I'll be in touch with data availability. In the meantime, click here to access the pricing guide. When I click there, let's see if it works. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, nothing's popping up. So what I'm gonna wanna do is hit save and close. And then I'm going to hit preview. I love how I put live baby sharpings, it's so ridiculous. 
And I'm just going to put like a random information. Mock event, August 25th. Get the pricing guide. Just to make sure it pops up. And it did. So they have the full PDF with all my information. And I will, like, as I get availability, I will update some of the photos. I will update some pricing, things like that. And then just re-upload the document into MailChimp. Once you get that designed, you'll hit the publish button. And then your page will be live. The next thing to do is connect the link into your website so that when people click on like a page header, that's where it leads them to. For my website, I decided to have like some of the information from my PDF, almost like a teaser of sorts. Like I have the first page and then um, underneath you see my Canva Im image. And then once you click it, it takes you to my pricing guide. Good luck.